and hello everyone welcome to our Jew like mtgpl league uh, semi-finals we have our match of ng versus shadow with ant against mono green post my name is Carthor and i'm joined by our lovely mr jack Dex. how is it going Going good. Excited to see some awesome games of Legacy. Uh, as you said, Ad Nauseam Tendrils. Uh, a bit of an old variant of Storm. Most people are on test now more these days, I believe. Um, just to the different plans and stages that we're at. Uh, conveniently, both decks do play Ad Nauseam now. I do find that kind of an interesting balance to talk about. But as it is, you know, it's a very strong list. It's still a bit hard to play considering Black is at its weakest point it's ever been in the recent meta. But it's always exciting to see how this is going to play out. But isn't the test meta always uh, right now always playing the um, peer into abyss, the seven mana draw half of your library spell? I think also, so. I think in the sideboard, yeah. Burning Wish, that's the test version. So Ant, Ant is doing something yes. different. Looks like we're what do you think about this matchup? Turn one away. Uh, I think the matchup's actually more favored for Ad Nauseam Tendrils. Um, Mono Green Post does get off pretty fast, but it's not as fast as. I'm not seeing tendrils. I mean, it depends on the. It really depends on the hand Aiden has kept. Um, I'm not seeing tendrils can be explosive as a combo deck it is, but also you got Mono Green Post, which can really get there fast. Um, the other yeah. issue you run into is the fact that you know you're gaining life off each um, of the Locust Post, I believe, or is it the Glimmer or the Locust Post? Oh, Glimmer Post, like Glimmer uh, post, yeah, the life gaining uh, one. Shadow also plays the FNM promo versions of Cloud Post, which are really beautiful, and I can also only compliment him on his card choice. <laughs> yeah, Shadow beforehand didn't play Mono Green Post, but played uh, Bomberman. A lot of Garuda Bomberman when the companion was pretty busted uh, back in the day. You can actually see the older videos in our uh, video log. Oh, that's, I'm so sad that I only have a single LED, so I would love to play Bomberman. Yeah, Bomberman's a very, very fun deck to see. Um, it's more often in person rather than Moto, just because of how many clicks you have to do in Moto. Just got <laughs> or X Salvager, get LED. Or X Salvager, get LED. <laughs> get LED. <laughs> Keep going back and back and back. Oh, oh, we are oh. going. We are going already. That's a Dark Witchel. You only cast Dark Witchel if you want to go for the win, I guess. Yeah, we are actually also, starting here. Uh, we're on a yeah. three mana count, and I think we have a storm count over in one of the corners. Now, Storm Count is three. I mean, you are playing against a green post deck. You know they don't have any answers yeah. in the main deck. So you can just... That's solitaire right now. This truly is they solitaire. Have, yeah, so you can you can play your hearts out. You're probably just going to take the Pithy Needle, just so they don't name Wishcloth Houseman or something. Not that you're going to yeah. play it or anything else, but, you know. Oh, there's the LEDs. Oh, uh, Infernal Tutor cracking your LEDs, yep. Colors are probably going to be different here, I imagine. So now we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, and you have a bunch of mana. You can get at now, but you can do whatever. Pass and flames I... time. All right, all right, here we go. Yeah. Here I mean, we go. Pass and flames go for ten worlds yep. and uh, easy peasy GG. Yep, the, the, the classic start to test. And this is where you scoop. You already know what's happening here. Yeah, there's the tendrils. Yeah, you, you already know where you were going. Yeah, you just have to do the uh, show the tendrils. You have it in your deck. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody knows the LSB story where he uh, played vintage with uh, tendrils in the sideboard and wishing for deck. tendrils. Yeah, it wasn't in the sideboard, and the opponents just scooped before you could pull it out. So, <laughs> oh my god, I remember that. Um, there was also a very th I think it was a modern match. With Ross Merriam, and he was searching for something uh, in his sideboard or something, and it wasn't there, and he just had like the deafest look of like, whoops, and he just shuffled up his deck <laughs> right afterwards because he failed to find. <laughs> good, good times, good times. Uh, you have those moments. So, looking at deck lists from Shadow, we have Mind Break Trap, we have Endurance, we have Collector Oof, we have. Veil and we have Warping Veil. The Veil of Summer, Warping Veil, Carpet of Flowers, Force of Figure, Tabernacle. So, what do you think? Mindbreak Trap sounds good. Mindbreak like Trap those. sounds great. Um, I like Mindbreak Trap. I like Carpet of Flowers. Uh, I like making mana very fast. 
Um, endurance sounds fine if they go for endurance also sounds fine. flame pile collector oof to shut down LEDs. Uh, and do you take in the Veil of Summer to, yeah, against the... Draw cards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, against Headwills. Mm. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. I mean... If maybe. he goes for his turn and he casts uh, <laughs> just... Duess of Thoughtseize, you just do it, and then he can't win with... Uh, with, uh, with ten Veil of response, yeah. That, that's also yes. a good one. You get to draw but, cards, too. But Aiden, Aiden has the ooze in his deck, so he can just go for the ooze win. Yeah, th this is open deck list, so they do know about the ooze. But the ooze is also just something that you just don't think yeah. about often. Um, that can get in your head. Uh, especially if you're in that mindset of just like, Ah, oh, it's all clear. I just veiled. It's fine. No, here's ooze. Well, what do you even get on uh, Aiden's side? Like, he has Carpet of Flowers, Useless, Chain of Vapor, That's maybe Extirpate, mm -hmm. usually not very useful, Flusterstorm, no. Surgical, Veil of Summer, Abrupt Decay, Hercules Recall, Galvanic Relay, or Massacre. So... These are all bad cards. <laughs> maybe a Chain of Vapor against something annoying but usually there's not nothing on the board early that really annoys you so yeah it just really depends i mean abrupt decay is not that great either unless you're abrupt decaying like an expedition or something maybe <laughs> galvanic really bad relay things. but maybe galvanic relay but that's yeah that's a question i, I, I think you just don't care like you you go you go for Tedwards or you go for the Ooze. Yeah. And, I mean, you are the aggressive deck. You don't want to be reactive in this situation. You up a game. I think you just don't sideboard that much. No, I agree. I, I think the deck's as good as it gets in the main board against this uh, matchup. There really isn't anything you can bring. Because uh, yeah. nothing is really relevant except for Chain of Vapor in corner case scenario B and C. Yes. That's that's why where Shadow made the mistake. He's playing the White Lands with Cloud Pulse, but he's not playing Chalices or Sphere or Twitty Sphere, Sphere of Resistance. That's that's what you gotta play. Beldrazi Post. You gotta play Beldrazi Post with all the the Grim Monoliths and stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. I had a friend who played it's, it. It's it's a it's a great deck. Not uh, not in favor uh, anymore, but a great deck. Whew. I I love it. I'm playing it less and less now, just because I have a more janky version of Colorless with my Dice Factory, but. Oh, yeah, there's the carpet. This was relevant. It does make you a lot of mana real quick. I mean, yes, but... There is two basics in this list for Aiden, so... I mean, you, you, you don't really care too much because what is he going to do with three mana next turn? So, hard cast, random map, play Elvish Reclaimer, leave open mana... I don't think you really care about the... <laughs> you could also meme on them and just like crop rotate into Glacial Chasm. That's an option. That, 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 that's the true meme. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna respond and just crop rotate Glacial Chasm. I'm not gonna die here. <laughs> not today. Ooh, double carpet. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, but... I mean, that's... If you bought both in, you might draw both of them and. Okay. Oh, we're veiling. Veil of summer. We're veiling. Okay, so <laughs> we're, we're not, we're, we are not losing this turn. We're veiling. I mean, there's also the fact that Green Sun is in this deck, so you can just Green Sun for whatever you need. Um, yeah. If that's your option here. Interesting. Aiden is opting not to play. Uh, to fetch here because. That's <laughs> I like don't want to make more card. mana! <laughs> You know, now that's hard casting Eldrazi territory with four additional mana, playing a Glimmer Post, that's uh... Yeah, I'm gonna play Ulamog. Seven, eight mana. I'm gonna play Ulamog, get wrecked. Uh, that's a early Bajuka Bark. Yeah, that's pretty early, I would not have brought it down here. Um, like, I mean... I mean, I guess it is a card. Uh, uh, there's no way to blink it as far as I remember. Yeah, but, I mean, you kind of want to cooperate into it anyway, so... Yeah, you crop rotate into it and get Ramada Excavator online, which is a three drop. It is a three drop. 
You're, you're in good gonna, range. How many cards does Shadow have left? Because that's his third turn, so... I mean, we're, we're on a clock here. We're on a clock have, here. Four cards in hand now, okay. <laughs> I, I do like the fact that it's like, okay, mana with both. Yeah, I don't think he's drawing very well right now. I don't think so either. I mean, we're, we're, we're playing lands when we need to be playing gas. Titan. Ooh. Titan. Prime time. The notably new cool art of prime time. Yeah. Seems to be resolving. Get... We're getting some lands. Did you get the uh, secret layer uh, or any of the secret layers recently? Uh, I'm picking up the Mother of Rooms one. I'm splitting it with uh, Bear actually. Uh, Bear is nice. Bear really wants the Gwei lands, the Gwei versions of Mother of Rooms, and I really want her daughter's um, Mother of Rooms. Because I Very really like nice. that art. So. Yeah. Okay, Ooh, we're getting so... Eye of Ugin, I think. And Cloud Post. So that's Ooh, okay. going for the win next turn, probably, because you just attack with Titan, get two more posts, and then you, with the Cloud. Um, play play Emrakul Play Emrakul the Promised End. <laughs> I'm going to purposely yeah. make sure you lose your game. Does he play? Yeah, he play, he plays both Emrakuls. Oh, Endurance is in hand. That's That's an interesting one. Yeah, I promise then I'm just gonna storm off and then do nothing. Okay. So he bought in Tabernacle against the Ooze. Okay, I mean that 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 is relevant, I guess, in a weird way. So how much money can you make on the other side? We have uh three single color lands, then we can make two more mana. You got double post, uh, so to the generate two. Prime time. Yep. And you get two mana by capital flow, so that's one, two, three, four, five. If you get a Yavamaya, you can actually Plus. use a Tabernacle to make mana. Thirteen. That's thirteen mana. That's not enough to cast. Ooh, Chain of Vapor. Chain of Vapor on the type. Okay. Yeah, that's that's something. So you can recast the Titan. Do you get the... <laughs> recast the Titan, that's an interesting choice. I mean, it, it does basically everything for you. Do you get Glacial Jason uh, now to sacrifice mm. the rock? Because then you are kind of safe if he tries to go for his next turn. Yeah, maybe. We're getting Yavimaya, that makes sense, actually. That way we can play Tabernacle and make mana here. That actually makes a lot of sense. I don't like uh, using funny. the Cloud Post there, because if you don't tap for the Cloud Post, you have the option to... Because now the Cloud Post tap for one more, you can maybe go for a oh, okay. activation. I don't think that's what we're going for here. I think we're going to cast uh, Endurance. If we have to. Yeah, yeah we're, look, you can we're still, looking to hard cast endurance if we have to. But you can still hard cast endurance with the cloud post if you get the Yavimaha. Yeah. And if you don't have to cast endurance, you want to be able to activate uh, the temple to save seven mana next turn. That's true. No, that's true. There's a lot of decision making trees here. Yes. I, I think Aiden's probably going to go for it here. Uh, you know the yes. hand. You know the hand. It, 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 it's, it's blessed here. You need you need to go for it here, otherwise uh, Elvish Reclaimer is going to start doing some magical stuff. Oh, and we have a lovely storm counter up here. How nice! That's that's nice. Okay, we're gonna have two. We're gonna have three black. Chill. Three blacks coming. Where is that infernal tutor? Nope, Cabal, Cabal ritual there. Okay. Okay. Cabal ritual again. I believe that's threshold now. Uh, now we're in casting Infernal Tutor, cracking LED, I imagine. Oh, I just had a minor mistake in my thinking because Tendrils is life loss and the Glacier yeah. Chasm only prevents damage, damage. not life Tendrils, loss. Tendrils is life loss. Yes, the, okay, so getting the Glacier Chasm doesn't make a difference nope. for the Tendrils win. Tendrils is two, right? Two damage every storm? Yeah. That's we're at 16. Correct. 
Red 16. Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> this is how we're going for it. Okay. Okay. That's the Infernal Tutor. Yeah, it's Infernal Tutor into Infernal Tutor. Um, storm count should be 9, I believe. Okay, we're, and, we're in another Infernal Tutor. Okay, storm count should be 11 now, I believe. And, and then That's tentacles. good. Yeah, that's exactly 20. Or it should be 22, that's I think. 22, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that is how Storm works. That is Adnau Zim Tendrils in a nutshell. Um, really well and fast played by Aiden. He yeah. didn't think twice. He just yeah, executed his game plan yep. fast oh. and efficiently. The Abrupti kids were brought in along with the Chain of Vapors. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. A little bit surprised, but makes sense overall. Oh, Clackdurf was brought in, I guess, for the Wish Claw. Uh, so, so and, maybe warping, the and, um, and the Warping Whale was brought in. Yeah, the Warping Whale is fine because you can, if they um, discard with LED in response to the Tutor, you can counter the Tutor and they have nothing. Right, so that's, that's why such Warping Whale is, is a great card. That also is a lot of cards to get in. Version. That's fair. And there's the I mean, Tutor. Do you have a few cards to bring out, like Maze of It? <laughs> oh, yeah. Maze of It's not even relevant here. I think Needles. I don't think you really want that. In Retrofit or Foundry, you can bring out. Oh, yeah. Uh, There's a couple things we can bring out. That's going to yeah. be it from us, y'all. Uh, thank you all for watching. As always, we have our Discord link below if you want to play in and join in on this awesome league action here. We have our Twitter if you want to follow us on Twitter. All sorts of other links down below. We do stream every so often, usually for the Invitational, which is every season. Next Invitational will be in November. As always, please let us be your local meta. Uh, my name is Mr. Jack Dax, and this is my lovely co-commentator, Cathor. Anything you want to say, Cathor, before we head out? No, I'm I'm fine. I, I think that was a beautiful, fast uh, matchup where you see like what combo decks can do, and we'll see Aiden in the uh, finals. Yeah, in the finals against Black Sky Doc versus Eternally Surprised, whoever the winner of that match is. Have a good one, everyone. Goodbye.